Wildcats, welcome to Harbor Wildcat News. For HPWN, I'm Sarah Gill. And I'm Micah Witchin. On today's show, you'll we'll take a look at some students' trip to Pittsburgh University. And that's not all. We cannot forget the new segment of Lie Witness News, as well as a story on one group of students in our community taking a stand. Today is April 28, 2016, and HPWN starts right now. Recently, Harbor CTE classes took a trip to Pitt State University. Wildcats learn the special benefit of attending Pitt State University if they're in the construction career field. Here's the story. Career educational technology is becoming a more viable option for students, and the recent expo at Pittsburgh State University is proving just that. We are one of only two high schools that have been invited back to this huge construction expo at Pittsburgh State. There are over 200 different vendors from Caterpillar, John Deere, Milwaukee, Hilti, and all these companies, construction companies alike, that are here t for these students for career opportunities and to show off all of their equipment that they brought up. And students are also allowed to operate that equipment. Well, what it is is to give the students an idea, if it's our own students, the materials, it's not companies looking to hire our students, that's done in the fall. This is companies that produce products that our students are going to use when they get out. So this is a chance for them to expose the students to all the different products that are out there. So then when they get out there and they're on a project and they need a certain tool or a certain product, they've got an idea of, you know, this is company, I remembered it at the expo days, uh, whether it's Hilti or whatever. Oh yeah, I remember that. That's the company we can go get that from. Attendees of this expo specialize in the construction and architectural drafting classes at Harbor High School. They were given the opportunity to become hands-on learners. A particular group of students are all juniors, uh, some seniors, and they are all involved in our construction programs or our CNC classes or in the architecture and drafting departments uh, areas of Harbor High School. Out of that group, we selected the students that we felt like would be a good fit for what the uh, education opportunities are here at Pittsburgh State. I'm uh, majoring in manufacturing engineering technology. I uh, came here kind of off a uh, kind of a random thing. I took a class that I didn't know anything about called Introduction to CNC and uh, I ended up falling in love with it and uh, I talked to Mr. Hoffius about you know where I could go to you know expand that and he said to come up here and try it out and uh, I, I was set and uh, I moved up here in August and um, from then on I've never regretted it. With recent integration of graphic design and interior design the field is now opening up to the female demographic as well. In the School of Construction we partner with the construction students and our students have been minors in construction for quite a while and starting this fall we have our own program where we have developed a curriculum that incorporates graphic design, interior design and construction management all together into one degree and our students have a lot of opportunities uh, that combination makes them very marketable. The pressure of life after high school is always on a graduating student's mind but with a career in the technical field such as construction, the job placement percentage leaves no doubt of success after high school. The main thing is, is when they leave, these people really help them get jobs, so their placement rate is really very close to 100%. The internships that they offer here are phenomenal. Students that need that kind of, uh, they're actually they're required to do internships, at least two. Uh, the, most of those companies pay for that, so it's a great way for students to earn an income. But the main thing is, is that they're able to help these students in a much smaller setting, so to help them excel. Besides that, I'm also getting a great education, uh, great opportunities here. Uh, I got tons of Pledge Brothers that have internships all over the nation. They, uh, you know, good paying jobs. I'm, you know, they they say that. They can't say that they place 100% of the students, but it's basically 100%. Everybody has a job coming out of here. It's hard not to when you go to work, or go to class, get your work done, and uh, you know make good grades. So I, I just love it up here. I really do. Opportunity, dedication, hard work, and commitment. 
an accurate representation of what it takes to be a continued learner. Experience with Harbor High School construction and partnering with Pittsburgh State University, success is only a small step away. For HBWN, I'm Grace Sugg. If you would like to get involved in the construction program here at Harbor, contact Mr. Hoppius for more information. In other news, May 4th is Walk and Bike to School Day. If you live close to school, be sure to take part in this event. We are going to take a quick commercial break, but stay tuned for Live Witness News and a story on students taking a stand in our community, despite what others think. Stay tuned. HPWN will be right back. A lot of people say that the arts aren't really a career, but in my opinion, ACDC has taught me that they are. So you can really explore your creative side, and a lot of the other houses don't really have that. ACDC is full of talent, and if someone wants to use their creativity, if someone wants to go into the arts industry, then this house can really provide you with the opportunities that you need. I love acting, singing, and film, so it's really a great place to nurture those skills. I feel like ACDC is different because with so many teachers encouraging students to embrace their creativity, it just gives this house so much more originality than other houses. You have teachers that are all interested in like the same fields of study that you are into and then they also have the experience to help you get further in what you want to do. This house has really taught me to follow my passion with so many guest speakers talking about their story and about how they followed their dreams and had success. It just really inspires me to follow my dreams and to hopefully have success. ACDC is a house that connects classes to real world applications whether you're interested in East, TV production, graphic design, journalism, art, theater, or the musical arts. We give students the opportunity for a solid foundation to succeed in post-secondary education or a career in the creative arts. Almost one out of every four students are bullied in school each year. But did you know that over half the situations stop if a student peer intervenes? It's time to join together and make a stand. And whether you're an athlete, in the band, or finding your own passion, stand up. Because together, we can make the difference. Welcome back. In today's Lie Witness News, we went out to see how easily girls would fall for a new dress code for prom. We hit the halls of Harbor and here's what we found. So what are your thoughts on the new dress code for prom? I was not aware there is a dress code. I didn't know there was a new dress code. I haven't heard about a dress code. I didn't know there was a dress code for prom. I didn't know there was a dress code. There's a dress code? Yes, you cannot have any two pieces. Your shoulders cannot be seen and it has to go all the way to the floor. That is so stupid. Really? Well, that's interesting. Um, I mean, I'm all for modesty, but there are a lot of prom dresses that do show shoulders and do show midriff. And that doesn't make me uncomfortable, but I can see it would for some people. Well, my dress shows shoulders, but it has, like, a sleeve thing. Does that count? Oh, well, that's not good, because my dress has midriff. Well, I'd have to go buy a new dress, because I'm breaking the code. <laughs> well, I definitely wouldn't apply to that dress code. They're going to stop everybody at the door who violates this dress code, and they're not going to let you come in. Well, I guess I just won't go then. It looks like I'm not going to prom. Oh my gosh! I'm going to fight that. I'm fighting the system. There's no, no. Don't forget to buy your prom tickets. Tomorrow is the last day to buy them in the cafeteria during lunch. They are $30 each or two for 50, but if purchased at the door, they'll be $35 each. It'll be at the Metroplex in Springdale on April 30th at 8 p.m. Remember Wildcats, that was just for fun. That is not the real dress code. It was completely made up by the HBWN team. In other news, hashtag how to life is a completely student-led movement created by a student in Harrison, Arkansas. Let's take a look at how Jordan Whitmer is currently taking a stand in our community and the whole state of Arkansas. Teens across the nation are challenging the status quo and standards of society through mass student movements. Jordan Whitmer out of Harrison, Arkansas is doing just that through his establishment of hashtag how to life as he takes a stand for something much bigger than himself. 
the How to Life movement again started in Harrison, Arkansas, when I and some of my friends got together and said, what if we could put on a completely student-led youth event for the community of Harrison? And we did. We had over 700 kids that came out to a completely student-led event where everyone on the stage was 18 years old or under, all high school students and junior high students from our area uh, putting together an event. And uh, slowly but surely, the word started to spread all around the region, and people of Branson, Mountain Home, and Northwest Arkansas all wanted to be able to say, hey, what if this could come here? And over the course of the year, we've just been building a large movement over here of students that want to be able to uh, be a part of uh, taking a stand for Jesus. Slowly but surely, student outreach became very powerful. And the hashtag How to Life movement came to life as hundreds of students gathered for one purpose. At an event, a lot, a lot takes place. We've got completely student-led worship where students uh, lead worship and are the worship band that end up doing different modern contemporary worship songs and stuff. The worship band for the NWA event is uh, from students from all over NWA, which is just awesome how it's kind of an all-star worship band of students that have never played together before, but they have come together for this worship band here. There's also some, uh, there's a student drama that we do at a lot of these events that's very powerful to have students acting out uh, a drama about uh, Jesus and the difference he makes. Uh, and then, uh, but the, the final aspect of uh, an event is basically basically just students sharing their stories, their stories uh, about the difference that Jesus has made in their life and uh, how they've been able to take a stand for Jesus. The latest event brought the Northwest Arkansas community together as teens from Bentonville, Rogers, Springdale, and Fayetteville all united to take a stand. How to Life plays into the theme of taking a stand in that this is a place where so many different guys and girls from all over the community, students, they come and they want to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves. They want to um, really just shine out and take a stand for what they believe is right and for what they're convicted is truth. And um, really, um, all of us here, we're convicted that Jesus is truth. And we are so excited to share that with others. How to Life very much represents taking a stand because it's teenagers taking a stand against the sinful things of the world to stand up for other teenagers. So it's not, it, it's not adults or youth pastors taking a stand against the enemy, but peers taking a stand against the enemy for their peers. Uh, more than anything, what I want to see happen is students from all over taking a stand and stepping up for what they believe in and for taking a stand to live for Jesus and to live for their faith and to challenge the status quo and to really do what they can to really uh, just take a stand in their different orbits. Uh, it's been so incredible so far to see students from an entire region get together and mobilize for something as big as this and for a cause like this, uh, the cause of Jesus and the difference that he's made in our lives. And I just want to see students taking a stand for this more than anything. Taking a stand is all about being proud of your beliefs and defending them boldly. Thank you, Jordan, for being a living example of this. Take a stand and join the movement. Visit HowToLifeMovement.com for more information. You may have missed this year's Hashtag HowToLife event, but there is sure to be one next year. If you'd like to get involved, check out HowToLifeMovement.com. Harbor Drama, Choir, and Band are all combining talents to put on the classic musical Oklahoma. The show will be tonight and tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 and can be purchased at the door. There is also a daytime performance on Friday. That's it for today's show. Tune in next week for our final show this year. It will have a famous HBWN blooper reel along with special packages about seniors. Remember to tune into our sister station, Wildcat Sports Network. WCSN airs on the Springdale Public Schools YouTube channel before every Wildcat game. We are also broadcasting on channel 219 of Cox Cable. And if you ever miss a show and want to show your friends, go to the Springdale Public Schools YouTube channel and watch HBWN. For HWN, I'm Micah Witchin. And I'm Sarah Gill. We'll see you next week.